Welcome to the deep dive, discovering where your clients are listening or tuning in. So this is the first of our many live Thursday events. I'd like to welcome you all to the podcast episode. Though it's not a podcast episode, it's a live event. I'm so used to doing podcasts that I just think about everything as a podcast. So I'm Jill Hart, the coach's alchemist and host of the U World Order Showcase podcast. I help life, health, and transformational coaches make a difference and a living, but not in the way you might think. So before we get started, I'd like to encourage you all to download the checklist that I've created for you. So as we go through the next five weeks, you'll have something to refer back to as you get ready to take part in the five-day challenge that is coming up November 4th through the 9th. And more about that as we get closer to the time when we're going to actually do that challenge. Um, I want to let you know that clients come to me because they want to find clients, but don't want to spend endless hours on social media, media, even though they've got mad coaching skills out there. They still can't find clients in a reliable and predictable way. And it makes them frustrated when they're going on podcast after podcast and posting content like crazy on social media and still not getting any clients. And if that sounds familiar to you, you are, and, and you're not, if it sounds familiar to you, you're not alone. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Um, how can you feel, how can you not feel overwhelmed when you're working so hard, but just not seeing any results? And here's what I tell people. The one thing that I know works is no matter how. <laughs> this is really an interesting part or <laughs> live event I'll have to say. So no matter how how much you're trying to get things done and no matter how hard you're working trying to get all of the pieces together to find clients, I know that if you're trying to go on podcasts to find clients, there's four parts that you just absolutely positively have to nail. So let me talk to you a little bit about the what's on the agenda for the next five weeks. And today we're going to discover where your ideal clients are hanging out and how you can find them. Then next Thursday, which will be November 9th, we'll cover what you need to do before you apply to podcasts. And this is really an important aspect to getting on podcasts. I can't tell you how many people I've um, had on my podcast that they really weren't prepared to come on the podcast. And so it's really not a surprise when they're not finding clients because of the efforts. So we'll cover what you need to know before you get on, you apply. And then the next week we'll cover what you need to know about finding the ideal podcast beyond what we're going to talk about today. And then the next Thursday, we'll talk about what to say on the podcast to get your ideal clients to reach out to you. And then the last podcast or the last live event in this series of five, it will be on November 30th and it will be what to do after your podcast interview. And each one of these four pieces is so important that you get them exactly right in order to find clients through your podcast guesting efforts. So today, we're just going to cover those four points again before um, and then finding your podcast episode, what to do during that, the podcast episode, and what to do after the podcast episode. Today, we're going to talk about where are your ideal clients tuning in. The, really, the easiest way to figure this out is to go over to Apple or Spotify and look, put in the search bar and look for podcast um 
podcasts in general that you would want to listen to still suffering from the problem that your ideal client suffers from. So once you do that, write those, write those podcasts down or bookmark them, but go back through and then listen to those podcast episodes. I'll listen to a few of them to kind of get an idea of where the host is going with the podcast. And, and if you feel like you're getting information from that podcast that would answer your questions that you had about solving the problem that you solve. From there, you need to think about how you can integrate your message into what the host's overarching theme of the podcast is. So you've already got a podcast that your ideal clients are listening to because the the podcast itself is solving the problem that they're suffering from. So you you need to take your message and and massage it so that your already engaged audience is going to be able to recognize that you have the solution to their problem and all they need to do is take the next step with you. Then the next piece is approaching the podcast host to get on the podcast. So there's a specific way to do this and I will show you how, but not just yet because I want to make sure that you tune in next week to find out what you need to do before you go looking for podcast hosts. So this week, I'm gonna give you a little assignment and that is to go and find podcasts that your ideal clients are listening to. Then listen to a couple of the episodes. Think about what you, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Think about what you can add to the conversation and then make a note of what those podcasts are and what you can add to the conversation and join us next week and we'll cover what you need to do before you apply, but you'll need to have this, this material covered first. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you're really serious about finding clients from being a guest on podcast, you're really going to want to download the podcast guesting alchemy checklist. Mark your calendar for the week of December 4th through the 9th for the five day challenge, the art of audio alchemy, crafting client connections with every broadcast. We'll see you next Thursday and hopefully we'll get started more smoothly on that one. <laughs> Take care.